A lot of people might think we're opening the pool late, but we have a lot of oak trees here and we basically wait every year for all the oak fuzz to be done coming down. I'm walking over to Richie right now. He's done a few things already. What are you doing right now, Rich? I'm hooking up the filter pump. I, uh, I'm making my connections. You know, we store all this stuff inside for the winter months and I bring it back out for the summer. So I'm basically just hooking all the connections back up. The tank is also put away for the winter. I brought that out and I'm getting ready to hook up the uh, diverter valve for the DE tank. What okay. about our heater? Our heater was covered with a tarp. I basically uncovered that. So the heater's all uncovered, ready to go. I actually have to put the drain plug back in, which is in a bag. Over there. I also installed the chlorinator. Oh, that doesn't stay out here? This was also put away. I put that on. So I have to repair the spider gasket on the diverter valve before I could put that piece on next. Okay. I'm just gonna go around and screw in the little anchors that hold the cover down for the winter. And the cover is currently laid out to dry in the sun. And it actually looks like it's almost dry, just a few places left. And this is our special handy tool for taking the cover off. And after we took the cover off, we put the hose in and we are in the process of filling the pool up the rest of the way. I uh, just want to also add that I swept the whole side edge of the pool because there were acorns and debris and things that got stuck under the cover and we just wanna make sure that none of that ends up in the pool. The pool's bad enough as it is to clean when we don't wanna make our job any harder. And going around and screwing down these little anchors that hold the cover, we don't wanna screw it in too tightly, you just wanna make it flush. So we were having some trouble last year and we replaced the, this gasket, uh, what is yeah. that called? That's a gasket, exactly what it is. And we bought two of them, but now that we're looking at it, we noticed that there was a problem last year. Well, at the end of the last year, I noticed the, the DE was blowing back on the return inside the pool. So I knew that when I opened the pool this year, I was going to have to take a look at that. And that's what I found. The gasket just sort of came out of its place. I don't know if it was a crappy gasket. I just want to point out that we put this pool in in 2005. So it is 15 years old. And we just bought these replacement parts on Amazon. What are you doing right now? I'm just cleaning this up with a little bit of goo gone because I don't know what else I would use. Uh, let's peel this out of here. It sticks in there pretty good. Hmm. Make sure it's good and clean in here. What'd you put in, dish soap? Yeah, a little dishwasher okay. dish uh, detergent. Good. I got some uh, Permatex black silicone gasket maker. This uh, I'm just going to use a little of this stuff in a couple of key areas. So like in the corners and like in the midpoint right here. That's where it blew out. Right. A little bit there. I don't know. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, figure out which way it goes. This is the replacement part we used and it's from Amazon. We'll link to it below. Easy fix for you. Do it yourself guys out there. Now this stuff I've had for a long time. It's called Silglide. And what they use this for is putting a little bit of lubricant on the seals when you rebuild engines. All the rubber seals. But it'll work good in this particular application. I usually just you know Smear a little of this across this these silicone o-rings, keeps them nice and soft. 
and they last a long time. I've done that with every single O-ring that holds this thing together. As you, every one of these has an O-ring. One there, one there, one here, one there. So I do that with all of them. I clean them at the end of the year. When I take it apart, I put all the O-rings in a plastic bag with a little of this stuff on it. And they're like brand new every time I take them out of the bag. So we're gonna go ahead and this one goes down in here. Oh, we gotta put this back now. You wanna line that up? Oh, I see. So there's two little tabs here. There's a bottom and a top. So you wanna find those and line those up. Perfect. As you can see, the spring, you know, you're putting a little t tension on that. Hopefully this is something you don't do because this is 15 years old. You know, yeah, it's not true. something we're going to be doing all the time. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and put this on next. We're going to get these connected first. And don't forget, this thing is 15 years old, so you really only want to go hand tight with these flanges because you'll crack them otherwise. Hand tight. There's one more connection back here. This is for the backwash uh, waste hose. That one on. So that one's here. Oh, and you put this drain plug in already. Yes, there it is. There's a drain plug. So you have to plug both of those up. Yep. Plug that in. Right now I'm going to make sure everything's off. Today. And see what's in there. Oh, it's not that bad. So unscrew those things. Is there a basket that goes in there now? Not yet. Oh, okay. So I could just put this back on? Yeah, I'm just letting the water go into the pipe right now. Do the other side. So these things just go in the pile of stuff to be saved until we close the pool? Yeah. Pulling out the, what are those called? Return plugs. This goes on there. Honestly, in the 15 years that we've owned this pool, this we got to screw in. We've really ha not had to replace that much when you think about it. No, I mean we took pretty good care of it. Yeah, we had to buy some new little fuzzies for the tail of the Polaris. We've had to replace quite a bit of hose because that gets brittle and it, it pops cracks over time. We've basically replaced everything through Amazon. It's so easy. The only thing we don't buy from Amazon is the chemicals. So you're putting in the Polaris piece now? Yeah. Don't want to over tighten it. Screw these little doodads in here. Those have the little eye that directs the water either up or down. You direct it up if you want to get anything on the surface toward the skimmers at the end. And you direct them down if you want to blow whatever's on the floor toward the end. And if you're sitting on the steps, you can use them like a uh, massager on your back. It's yeah. really nice, especially when the water's coming out pretty hot. All right, he's taking a water sample. He's gonna go to the store and they just run that through a machine and tell us exactly what we need to get the water in shape. All right, All right. I'll, I'll see you in a few. Quick FYI on what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the skimmer and I'm actually skimming the bottom of the pool to get up those big leaves and sticks we know will clog the filter when we start running it. The more I do, the better off we'll be when it's time to filter it and backwash it. We're still filling with water. We have about five or six inches more to go. So Richie just got back from the store. And this is what he brought home. <laughs> what do you have? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, of course, we got the DE for the filter tank. When the water gets up to level, we'll put that in. Right now, we can't. We got to wait for it to get over the skimmers. I got some H up. I'm going to be using half of that. I got some alkalinity up. I'm going to be using all of that. And we have, of course, the three-inch tablets for the chlorinator and some shock. 
How do you like our little DIY handles for the basket? Those handles really broke pretty quickly. They didn't last more than a couple of years. But we didn't see a need to replace the whole basket just because the handle broke. Well, I'm gonna just put the basket in. Just cleaning this up a little bit. What I normally do is we're gonna fill this up to prime the pump. We'll just let this sort of fill up the tank, fill up the pump to get some water in there. You know, normally you can self-prime, but it just takes, it's a lot more strain on the pump and it takes longer, so. To go a little more uh, easier on an old pump that's 15 years old, we're gonna prime it. This is both, this is the skimmer, that's the main. Okay. And that should be enough to get us started, so. I'm gonna go put this in the uh, pool. Go give it a shot. <laughs> Filter. Not gonna worry about the heater just yet. Turn it on. We'll hopefully get some kind of draw. And I'm gonna grab it from the main drain just to make sure I don't suck any air from the skimmers, which are not quite under the water yet. Okay. Let's try it. Window. There's kind of a glare. I can't see anything at all. What do you see through there, though? Water. Oh. All right, we're gonna go with both. I'm gonna try and grab some from the skimmer. Maybe it'll be easier. Air coming out. Hear it? Yeah. Of course, this is open. So you want the air to come out of the pipes. Yes. Are we sucking air from the skimmers? All right, I, I switched it back to the main drain because okay. I, think, I think the skimmers were sucking dry. There it comes. Yeah, I, I see it now. Some activity in there. Yeah. So that has to fill up? Okay. Yeah, our pool's a little too low. We normally wouldn't do it with it this low. It's just taking too long to fill today. I don't know what it is. Got the valve, yep. Up oh, there it is. Okay, close that little valve. There you go. And now we're building up pressure. Usually 20 or less is clean. Anything over 20, it's starting to get dirty. So we're just gonna keep this running for a while, right? Yeah, we're gonna put the DE in the filter skimmer baskets now if we have enough water level there. Let's go ahead and put some chlorine in here. I'm gonna put about four or five at least, just because we got no chlorine in here at all. All right, so that's chlorinating. Pump is pumping. Our return is on the steps. Mm -hmm. Now it's on the wall. So that'll blow some of the air out of the lines on the wall jets. Solaris is, we'll blow some air out of that. And yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna turn that off. Let's see if we can get the skimmers working. Ready? Okay. Yeah, they're working, Ready? but it's close. All right, good. I usually use about half of this bag, a little at a time. Let it sort of mix in with the water as it goes in. Let's go and do the other side a little bit. I like to spread it out. You added half the bag? Yeah, just about. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna leave it on, on the main drain. Okay. This one. Mm. Richie's getting the Polaris ready. So we're gonna allow that to go around and pick up the other big stuff that I couldn't get before. So we wanna push this over to the Polaris, but we don't push it all the way because the Polaris does not like full pressure. So I move it right around one o'clock. There it goes. 
It's already starting. Every 15 minutes, we have to empty that little bag. Yeah, it fills up quick. But it does a good job at stirring up all the crap on the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna just push some of this crap on the bottom towards the drain, and we will make a cloudy mess. However you wanna say it, I'm gonna use about half of this. Okay. Super shock. Super shock. <laughs> All right, so the little baggie keeps opening up, so we made a quick DIY fix with two of those clips that we had. This is DIY pool opening at its best. Yeah, it seeing sense. all our little problems. So for the next hour or so, we'll be brushing and cleaning out the Polaris about every 15 minutes. And, and then we'll be backwashing. How many times does it take to backwash? The way this looks right now, I'm gonna guess about five. Five different backwashes. By the time it's ready by tomorrow. Yeah, we are ready to backwash. If you look at our gauge, you're just about 30 pounds. I know the pressure is weak, I could see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and backwash. Okay. And we'll get to check out our new gasket that we replaced. Right. Rotate it over to backwash. Okay. I'm gonna turn it on and hopefully the hose doesn't explode in my face. I don't know, I guess it's pumping. If you look over here, you see all the crud. That little window bubble? Yeah, that's a little uh, sight glass. It's very for cloudy. All yeah, well, it's green and dirt. Okay. That's the backwash happening. So, so you, that'll clear up. You're basically cleaning the filter right yeah. now. Okay. We're emptying out the tank. Okay. And that takes water from the pool, which means we'll still have to keep filling it back up. Right. How long does it take to clear, and how will you know? Well, a couple of things I do. I'm gonna just drain a little of the goop that settles on the bottom here out. So. It doesn't look that bad. Yeah, and what I also can do here is, watch yourself, I'm gonna turn this on and blast some water out. Uh -huh. Now put that back. That helps get the stuff on the bottom. And you're still backwashing. All I'm doing now is just flushing it back, flushing it out the bottom, flushing it out the, the, the top. When this gets clear, or clearer, because the water is still pretty nasty, then we know it's uh, clean. Now I usually just go back and forth. I don't go too long because I don't want to pump the pool too much and I know it's going to get clogged up again right away because it's still filthy. So the other thing you can do is go to rinse. What does that do? It's supposed to be rinsing off the screen. But it conserves inside. the water better? Right. I just flip back and forth. Okay. Because by going to rinse and then I'll switch back to backwash. It just sort of stirs everything up in there better rather than just leaving it on backwash and waiting for the thing to be completely clear. It's good that we got something going in the background making noise. Yeah, I know. This is our neighborhood. It's so noisy. Flip-flopping back and forth, I just got a whole big pile of stuff that just went through there. You didn't see it, but it did. Okay. Yeah, we can't help how noisy our neighborhood is. We're sorry. So I also do this again with the rinse too. Watch. In the rinse mode, just to get the water flowing in all different directions. Look, there's, there it is, look at that. Ew. Oh, that's scuzzy. All right, so we got more dirty water out the back. I'm gonna do a backwash one more time. Just to blast through some more crap. Any stuff coming through? Yep, lots of stuff. Lots of little particles. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot. So I'm not gonna go trying to get it all because I know that the pool has a lot weight. So I just do quick back washes just so I can get my pressure back down over here in the 20 area. Okay. So it's on and off, on and off, on and off. Rinse, yeah, back wash, yeah. rinse. 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 Rinse might show a little bit more crud coming out the glass. Nope, actually looks fairly clear. All right, and now, 
All right, so we're gonna put it on the filter. Probably get a little bit of air out because I opened that cork. A lot of air. And it's still at 23, All right. 24. It's better, it's better. It is better, it was almost at 30. So you'll wait again until it gets up to about 30 again and then you'll redo it. I'll do that again. Okay, just, and you'll do it as many times as it takes. Yeah, you just flip flop it a few times. To get okay. The stuff. And if you look, if I turn off the Polaris, look where the gauge is now. It's clean. Oh yeah, it's clean. The, the Polaris, Polaris was making it the higher. The Polaris gives you a little bit of back pressure. Okay. Polaris on, look. Yeah. All right. Now it's at 20. Okay, so the Polaris so also has an effect. So what are we on, skimmer? We got yep. We got to put some more DE in. Okay. And we did drop the height of the pool by about three quarters of an inch by doing that backwash. So the hose is still running, the Polaris is still in, and he's gonna add more DE into the, <laughs> into the skimmers. Well, here we are the second day. Man, there is a lot of dirt on the bottom. So we're gonna work today to get it cleaned up. So yeah, as the pool gets uh, clean and stuff off the bottom, this is, gets clogged up dirty. So we gotta clean this out. A little catch basket for all the big debris. Curious to see what's in here. There's a good amount of stuff Ooh, in the bottom. Yeah, that's there. nasty. So we'll okay. just sort of tap that out. That's clean enough for now. Put that in, make sure it lines up. Because you let air in there, you had to just release the valve again? Yeah. Yesterday. Oh, there it goes. That's better. Yeah, the pressure's too high. We need to backwash again. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead okay. and give it a little backwash. And the Polaris is off, so Polaris that can't, off. that's not causing it, definitely. Okay. So he's spraying down the filter, he pulled it out because it just got to the point where it was so clogged. We tried to make sure it stays together, but accidentally it came apart, so we'll have to jigsaw that back together. But we've done it before, and we'll do it again. All right, we got this thing all cleaned and put back together. And with any luck, I did it right. <laughs> you did. There's an O-ring that goes here, around this uh, downpipe. It broke. I went to the store to get a new one. But I'm just gonna do a dry fit and make sure this thing sits where it's supposed to first. And I don't know why I'm talking like I'm always asking a question. <laughs> and it sits just like that. I guess I really just got way too much stuff in here that the filter just couldn't handle it anymore. I usually have the pool much cleaner before this happens. Hopefully, I'll be able to backwash it one more time and be done. And what are you putting on it right now? I'm putting some more of that Sil Glide. So putting a little bit of that, that, that grease on there just helps it, because it is a tight fit. Oh, I see what you're saying. This is a big, gigantic O-ring here. Yeah, definitely has to seal properly. So I'm gonna okay. give this a... Quick rinse. It's like a belt. Got it. I need this. So we tap it all around, good and tight. Drain plug. Complete with O-ring. Okay, everything seems to have an O-ring. Just a matter of different sizes. Yeah, there's the little flangey ring thing. There's a flangey ring thing? What's you know, a the, flangey the, ring thing? <laughs> the screw at the top. <laughs> oh, here it is, it's right in here. And then do you need that? I never tighten it with that, hand okay. tight. Okay, hand tight, okay. I use that to get it loose. 15 years old. Yeah, you keep saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's switch this back over the filter. Okay. Yeah. There's gonna be air everywhere. I see it, there it goes, it's bubbling. Peter's on. Getting circulation through there Yay. already. Yay! 
guess we are. So now it's shut off so you can see how the air is getting in and out of the... Uh, yeah. So the heater isn't happy when there's air. If it doesn't sense any circulation through the heat exchanger, it shuts off. Okay. We should have good pressure now. That's a good clean That's filter. That's nice. Nice and clean. We got oh. maximum pressure right now. Now we're going to put some fresh DE. So this is the connection for the Polaris where it goes to the return on the pool. This drives the Polaris. There's a little uh, filtration screen in here. Every once in a while you got to take a look at that and clean it. Now ours was really dirty because our filter was so clogged up that it was actually coming back into the pool. The end of day two and we pretty much have the pool done. Took a little longer than normal this year but you know things happen. I ordered on Amazon for the Polaris a new tail, a new little cloth basket and uh, don't forget I'll link to all the parts and materials that we've purchased for this pool over the 15 years of owning it. And let's just see what the temperature is up to. It's a little loud, but hopefully you can see that. It's up to 75 degrees. It went up about six degrees since this morning. So that is pretty nice. Another day of heating and we'll probably be right where we want to be. Thanks for joining us. I know this was a long video. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>